What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. In the trailer for Scream 6, we see Tony Revolori's character wearing a very important shirt possibly that has revealed plot elements that will be used in Scream 6 or it could serve as the entire story of the upcoming film which has drawn inspiration from this old movie title that again is on Tony Revolori's shirt. Now, the title on his shirt translates into Four Flies on Grey Velvet, I believe. The film, from what I've gathered, revolves around a man who kills another person, but then becomes blackmailed by another killer who witnessed this murder. See, little details like this, they're always fun to see people catch because the person who pointed this out to me has unfortunately deleted their Twitter page, but shout out to you. But this reminded me a lot of how Pretty Little Liars will give small clues about the plot through songs, posters in characters' rooms, flashbacks, or text written on shirts, such as the way we seem to have a big clue on Tony's shirt. For those of my those of my Pretty Little Liars fans out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. During multiple rewatches of the show and just while we were watching it when it aired, they definitely were hiding clues in plain sight through various means, and I think this is another instance for this upcoming screen movie. I want to remind everyone also how this not only would be drawing inspiration from this movie, but it also would be even more acknowledgement towards Kevin Williamson's original Scream 4 trilogy plans because Scream 5 from him would have focused on Jill away at college and a new killer appears trying to blackmail her because they know what she's done, which would force her to start killing again, I think is what the ultimate angle would have been. It's also a very similar angle to an upcoming season of a hit Netflix series if you know what show I'm talking about of course I hope you enjoy it when it drops the question though becomes if this is used in Scream 6 who is going to be stalked and blackmailed by Ghostface and of course why will it be one of our survivors from Scream 5 let's say it's Sam just for the sake of the conversation why would Sam kill someone could this be someone who tried to assault her on her way home, unfortunately, and in a life or death instance, she had to kill them? Now, sadly, during this, if that's what happened, she just did not also catch somebody who either became the new Ghostface or who was already dressed as Ghostface watching her. And now this killer will use that to further convince the public that she killed an innocent man unless she decides to take the fall for these new spree of killings. This already is working against her. Not only do you have a lose-lose scenario, you already have another public thing against you to worry about, a public concern against you to worry about. The public already believes that she was responsible for the events of Screen 5 and that she did it not amber and richie so that would be again a lose-lose scenario for her in this case or could it be kirby who was being blackmailed which would explain why she might thrust herself into solving the case so she can also find out who was blackmailing her she might not even disclose this to the rest of the survivors she might hold this close to her chest while she's trying to solve the case Something actually brought her there because she's drawing connections between the person blackmailing her and the person committing these crimes via stealing evidence and also the person that's now bringing said evidence to New York and targeting these other Woods World survivors. So what was it that Kirby would be being blackmailed about? Maybe Kirby actually assisted in getting the shrine or like I like to call it a ghost face layer to New York and had good reasons for doing it at the time in her mind. But now someone knows her secret and it's coming back to just bite her in the ass. I personally think the synopsis of the four flies on Grey Velvet could be used to drive either the entire story of Screen 6 or could be used in a more shortened fashion to briefly acknowledge Kevin's original Screen 5 plans, which again was about Jill Roberts, who we know was the Screen 4 killer going off to college and she was going to be taunted and tormented by someone who knew what she did which would ultimately force her into going out and doing those same things to find out who this black this black male person is that's targeting her now in screen five um maybe maybe the person who's being targeted or blackmailed is gail it could be Gail. But before I get to that, I will say this. The plot of the of that Velvet movie with the Four Flies Red Velvet or Grey Velvet, the plot ends up revealing that the killer is the main character's wife, who previously was from a mental asylum, which I definitely can't see a spouse being the killer in Scream 6. 
but if gail is the one being blackmailed then perhaps gail's new boyfriend we see in the trailer is the reason she gets targeted for blackmail maybe our new ghostface isn't a fan of corrupt policing this wouldn't be something that gail knows about but maybe her uh boyfriend that appears to be in the trailer with her is a corrupt cop or has some corrupt policing in his background the possibilities of course are just endless or maybe tony is the one who killed someone why would tony kill someone well many people are convinced that tony is in the opening sequence as well as samara weaving tony is also believed to have been spotted dead later on in the trailer when mindy finds a dead body in a tub now considering that all of this seems to be taking place at night a lot of the occurrences in the trailer seem to be taking place at night so you can only assume this might be happening after the opening sequence which should also be said at night what if samara and tony end up killing someone together for some sick tinder date plans we know that the opening has a tinder date of sorts involved in it what if we have two individuals meeting up to kill somebody but they are not aware that ghostface is watching them and then of course that will just lead to an even more twisted turn of events during said opening while ghostface was watching them meet up to kill somebody they end up having their own problems because now ghostface will end up being after them after they get done doing what they just did to somebody for again what i call some sick tender date plans to meet up and kill somebody that detail on tony's shirt definitely got my mind working because it, it, it just can't be there for no reason i know people have their complaints with the creative team for five and six but blatant details like that come off as intentional and not as a coincidence you guys can let me know if you found this to be interesting down in the comment section below again i think this is going to play a big factor into how the story plays out but uh you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below have you even watched this movie before because if you have uh let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section as well who do you think could be getting blackmailed and why or do you not think a blackmail scenario will go down at all and could this just be somebody simply targeting somebody who who they witnessed kill another person now the person we just saw kill somebody has another problem because now ghostface will be stalking them so many different twists of twist of fates that could happen it could be a nod to screen five kevin williamson's original screen five or it could just simply be a nod to this movie but let me know what you guys think again think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video